Hello everyone, it's Canadian Titan here and I'm back with some more Card Creator. They released another update last night or this morning or whenever. 2.6.8. As you can see, I already have it loaded. It's in their beta release ability for um, Steam. And so the new features are, it says if your OS supports 64-bit programs, Card Creator will run in 64-bit mode. They increase the texture cache size to one gigabyte. They've improved card preview loading speed. They've moved to other CPU cores if available uh, for the loading of big textures. They've fixed app unresponsiveness when loading big textures. They've fixed memory issues on big texture caching systems using native arrays. I love when developers put together update notes because it's like, what the heck is native arrays? So let's see what happens. I mean, here we go, right? This is my... This is my important set. This is my cards that I really want to finish. Still waiting for the designer to give me a couple more designs, unfortunately. Doesn't seem to necessarily be loading much faster than before. So far, so good. Well, a little bit of like a hiccup there as, it, as I scroll down. Okay, so all the cards have loaded and oh look at that look at them run back in no problem no crashing Ooh. okay let's see what the like export preview looks like uh let's, there we go now can i change this yet that's what i wonder right if i want this to be 300 dpi exactly it'll let that happen well that's nice And of course, I don't have backs on these yet. Woo! That feels, that feels responsive. That feels good. Wow. Yes. Yes, please. That feels really good, guys. Wow. And just for poops and ha-has, we're going to go ahead and export. We'll put it on my projects drive, SES card game, new folder, uh, it's November 28th, 2019, and okay. It's exporting. It's exporting back images, which, I mean, that's not very hard. Front PDF. I notice the preview has gone away on the screen there. That's a little disconcerting. But if it works, who cares? Back PDF. Tabletop simulator files. I wish still that the export would let me do like a front back, front back, front back, so that when I sent it to the printer, it was already set up um, for them to do. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check that folder. All right, so the image is exported as expected. The tabletop simulator file exported as expected. But the PDFs actually exported as one kilobyte corrupted, not working PDFs. Um, what would be the easiest way to show you that? Now I'm in screen mode. Meow. All right, so here's the folder, and you can see name back PDF and name front PDF. And let's move that there. And you can see it's not a PDF. It it, it didn't export right. Let's uh, do one more quick export attempt. Just the PDF. 
And again, you can see, as soon as I do the export of PDF, the preview behind the scenes there goes away, which to me means maybe a new bug. I don't know. We'll see. Come on, export. And I don't know if it's like creating a temp PDF file and then maybe like not properly moving it over. So let's go ahead and open that again. And there's no, well, I can refresh, but there's no point. It has not worked. So PDF export might still be kind of broken. Because it didn't even name it the file name I have here. But, like I said, the image is exported. So that's a good start. I really feel like, you know, my frustration with the previous release was definitely heard. They were able to quickly kind of figure out some ways to optimize this and make it a little bit better. I'm now very confident that most people could make a game with hundreds of cards like I have here. And that's, that's powerful, right? I mean, if they can get the PDF export to work properly, um, there are very few things left that I really am like, I need this feature or functionality. I'm going to test being able to try to print this using kind of one of those print and play services. Um, they had very specific file requirements that previous versions of Card Creator could not do. No matter what I did, it was like capped at that 290 um, pixels per inch or whatever. Uh, this new one seems to be a little bit more flexible, so I'm going to see if I can actually output files that fit the requirements of those print and play services. And if so, I mean, wow, we're like 99% of the way there. I'm super excited about that. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, the developers, um, he goes by J-U Del C-O. I'm not sure exactly how to say your name or what your real name is. Um, but he put a new update this morning, and I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys, if you're into this, will try it. And, I mean, even if you're only ten, like slightly into it, if this is something you could see yourself using, please buy it. Please support the creators. Let's get them some money so that they can kind of spend some more time developing this because it's really good and it could be really great, but it's so niche, right? There's so few of us that need this program. So it's really hard. I, I, I really feel for them because you can tell a lot of time has been spent on making this. Let's jump into the sample projects really quickly again here. And yeah, like the poker deck loads like nobody's business, which is great. You got the blueprint there. Um, let's load another sample real quick. They have a Cards Against People deck. And that looks great. Um, let's export this and see what happens. Let's let's do the print and play export for this. It's going to ask me what folder I want it in. So let's go ahead and select a folder here real quick. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, I'll put it in the Canadian Titan folder, we'll make a new folder, uh, CC test export PDF, and starting the export process. And if we come in here and we go back to projects, Canadian Titan, CC, test export, Card design, yeah, no. Sorry guys, PDF export, broken. Everything else, working much better. So that's it for me for now. I'm looking forward to more releases, more versions of this. I hope they continue to kind of iterate on it. I know it's not their most profitable project. Um, the company has a great game called oh, Reventure, which is on Steam. If you haven't tried that out, please do. It's uh, it's a game, and this is a tool, and tools often get pushed to the back. I know they're looking for some uh, more development power to put behind Card Creator, and my concern, of course, is always that as soon as a new developer comes on the scene, they want to redevelop everything from scratch, but yeah, I, there's some impressive changes in such a short period of time. I'm very impressed with uh, the developer that's working on this right now, so thumbs up for me. I was a little bit bummed out uh, yesterday with the release that they did, but... Uh, this is a huge improvement. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.